today, I guess, is a typical British summer day here in London. The heavens seem to have opened and it's particularly annoying because we've actually had a few weeks of really good weather here. So I guess we're due a big downpour like today. But I always love it when there is a downpour here in London, knowing that I'm going away in a few days. It makes me kind of excited because I'm like, I know there's good weather at the end of this week. And right now I'm, I'm hoping selfishly that it rains every day that I'm away because otherwise when you've got on holiday and it's very sunny here you always feel a bit like ah oh, my holiday photos and spam aren't quite as deserved people don't really care as much <laughs> I head away on Sunday I'm really fortunate enough to be going on a cruise I'm taking Carmen with me and we are flying over to Barcelona on Sunday morning and then on Monday we go travel to Marseille and then we also go to Cannes and then we spend two nights in Palma, Mallorca, and then we spend two nights in Ibiza, and then we go back to Barcelona and we spend another evening there. So I think overall in total we're away for eight days. And I'm so excited, this is like my first holiday I've ever done, uh, or ever done, first holiday for the year properly, and also first proper holiday I'll be spending with Carmen, which is really exciting. They say holidays make or break a relationship, so let's see. <laughs> we're all good. I, managed to get this with Virgin Voyages so I'm really excited to be heading away with them on the cruise it's gonna be good fun I've never done a cruise before so if any of you guys watching this have done a cruise let me know I mean it's unlimited food so my face look at it now because it may come back a little bit bigger but <laughs> let's see the reason why I actually have to begin packing now which is actually on Tuesday which is five days early is because I am so busy this week I've got so much on and if I leave it up to the last minute, which I usually do, then I'll literally end up leaving with nothing. So I need to start packing today. Because today is Tuesday the 4th. Tomorrow evening I have an event and I'm creating content during the day. Thursday I'm heading off to Cambridge. I won't be bringing you guys along with me, but you'll see on my Instagram and TikTok. I'm heading to stay at the University Arms Hotel there, which I'm really excited for. I've got a dinner and everything planned. And then in the Friday morning, I have to see my mum and dad and then in the afternoon I've got to head back to London for an event with all of our brown and then in the evening I'm heading to a really fun uh, outdoor cinema which for that I'll just say I am hoping the weather gets a little bit better for and then on Saturday I've got the Soho House Festival so I can't get too drunk or too on it because we do have the flight early the next morning so we'll just leave when the festival ends. So before I start packing and take you guys there I actually have to speak to the Virgin Voyages online kind of system, uh, they have a really good support team because I need to book in the restaurants and everything. And I've left it quite late because we only signed up like five days ago. So I need to book in some restaurants because otherwise they'll be too busy. They've got some really nice ones on there. So I'm very excited for seeing what we can have and eat. And I'll definitely be taking you along the entire trip with me. So it should be fun. What to mention that matcha tea I just had was insane. So basically I have a friend, my, my two friends, Simon and Andrew actually run the company dirty, so they finally sent me some of their matcha. And I don't really drink matcha that much, but that was delicious. Add a few vanilla sweetness from my protein and a little bit of almond milk, unsweetened. And that was insane. And it has really good mushrooms in it. So there's so much science. Well, actually, there's not much. There's not evidence-based science, but there are studies been done and examples of good information out there that show benefits for these uh, mushroom based products at the moment. So things like lion's mane, I think that was in there and turkey tail. And I think there was one other one. I can't remember what it's in there. It's in my shelf, but I've been taking mushrooms for a long time, not the psychedelics, but the, the just healthy ones that are legal in shops you can buy such as lion's mane and everything, because I just find they're really beneficial for the body, such as like, a lot of specific ones can do certain things such as anti-inflammatory, um, increase brain cognition and increase your VO2 max and overall benefits. I'll actually put a list of them right here for each one. So I'll put like a lion's mane, turkey tail and then there was one other one. So I'll put a few of the benefits and it's something I really recommend because the older we get, we start to have little aches and pains in our body and and our mind starts to go a little bit uh, like this and slow down. And I don't want that. I need to be working hard and yeah, trying to find different things that can improve my essentially brain and brain power and body. Because I want to be performing as well as I was or am now. 
up until the as, as long as I possibly can. So uh, this is one product I've been, well, their their products are things I've been enjoying, and this is just another one to add to my add to my shelf. So I'll put the link in the description below if you guys are interested, then definitely check it out. Not commissionable, not commissionable or anything. It's just a really good product, so definitely worth testing. Okay, come on, Virgin, I need you to help me. So the way I like to pack 99% of the time is three hours before I leave, get no sleep. So I'm feeling extremely good here and very productive. The fact I'm starting it five days early is the first time I've ever done this, but it does make sense. It will just leave me way less stressed and more organized and I need that this week. So getting ahead of it. One thing I really recommend to you guys is when you're packing is think about how versatile your outfits and options are. So for me, I always like to think, okay, well I can, I can wear a shirt for dinner on say the Monday, I can potentially wear it for lunch on the Wednesday. That way you're gonna get more out of your outfits, you're gonna have less weight and just less faff and thinking about outfits and choices. I tend to stick to just plainer colors such as your navies, your blacks, your whites, and then I throw in the odd flamboyant or rascal shirt here and there because that works really well with a few options and keeps your looks looking a little bit different as well and not so plain. But yeah, I mean, it's summer, we can pack light uh, because obviously it's all light wear, like just linen shirts, cotton shirts and some polos. And then the trousers will be mainly linen. I have a couple of pairs of shorts, although I don't tend to wear many pairs of shorts because most of my outfits will be out for nice lunches and dinners. So they'll probably be over the knee and over the ankle. And then trainers and shoes are the things that are particularly heavy. So again, trying to think versatility, such as trainers wise, it'll probably just be one pair of them, one pair of white pumps, because they go with everything. Then a smarter pair, and then a sandal, then maybe a brown pair. So let's start with one thing I always like to pack first, and that's like my multivitamins, my vitamins and greens, and my gym kits, because I know that is just one thing I just wear, and then I can just get on with it and chuck it in the bag and less to think about. And then the more complicated stuff is the outfits. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the easy bits first. With, with gym kits, I won't actually pack too many. I think maybe like three, um, three or four, one running kit, weightlifting kit. And a lot of the time you can leave this hang, hanging out to dry. Uh, so it shouldn't be too bad. Apparently on the cruise as well, they have a 5k running track around the entire ship. So I'll just be up there doing my laps and preparing for whatever runs I have coming up, which is pretty sick. So in terms of gym trainers, I just go for an all rounder every day, wear it in the gym, wear it on a treadmill, wear it around the track, wear it for running in the city. So that'll be the Hoka Bondi 8s. They're good. I've got a few pairs of socks, which to save room, I usually shove in the trainers. So there's that. And I'll shove a few more in there. Every little helps. And for kits, I've got one, two, three, one, two, four gym. I mean, they're not heavy, but if I need to remove something, I definitely can, just to save on some weight, which is probably going to be needed. So, yeah. I wish I had those compartments. They make a massive difference. It's like a game of Tetris packing. One that I'm really bad at. So I just finished a 10K run, um, felt good. I managed to finish the last kilometer at 3.40, which is good pace. So feeling good, feeling good. And the other nine was just relatively, relatively uh, zone two, five minute, 4.45 kilometers, kind of there. Um, as you can see behind me, there is a box and I'm going to 
get into it after the shower because it's got not literally get into it but style the things up in there because i bu uh, bought some things for all saints for my holiday so i'm going to see if they're nice and show you guys so let's go now i actually don't have time to show you guys this but I'm Very sexy. few days so when I last caught up with you it was Tuesday and um, I was basically supposed to be doing packing and I haven't finished it still and it's Friday night so I've been to Cambridge been to all these events it's been sick but I just haven't fully had the time if you guys go onto my Instagram you'll see some of the posts I posted from Cambridge at the most magical time there it was amazing but it was so rushed but anyway that's life I'm just about to show you guys my evening skincare routine I thought it may help you guys for someone who suffered really bad in the past with acne and like dry skin I now have a pretty good skincare routine which I thought I'd just showcase to you guys and you may be able to find some use of it and take some bits from it that you may not be doing right now to improve your skin especially in the evening so I start with a cleanser which is just like a micellar water this one here You've probably seen a lot of girls use it um, to remove their makeup, which is pretty normal. But the reason why I actually use this is simply because it just removes all the dirt from when I've been around in like London. And if you live in London, you'll know what it's like living in the city and getting on tubes and stuff. It can be extremely dirty. Now, I mean, actually, today, was fine but anyway so I let that dry a little bit <laughs> while that is drying I'll talk to you about this next product so this one is a toner it's from a brand called Sabla Labs I can't actually pronounce it but it's a black seed toner and the good thing about toner is once you have cleansed your skin whether it be from a face wash or a what I've just used there micellar water this uh, restores the pH levels in your skin so it's good just to spray or if you do have a different type of one, you can just get a cotton pad and put it over your face. But it's quite good, so I just spray it over my face like this. And this one as well smells insane. Very good. I've been using it for a while now. Now, I posted my skincare routine for the morning on my Instagram. And I'll put the link here for it. But a couple of people were like, you should actually adjust it ever so slightly. So... They say every the thickest cream you should apply first onto your face. So usually it's like cleanse tone, and then it's like eye under the eyes. Uh, if you use any eye serums or anything, then it's like your serums, and then it's into your well, sorry, other creams. Then it's your serums. Then it's your moisturizers. Then on top of that, it's your SPS. So the next product is this one here. It's Murad, and it's a retinol cream. So retinol is just like really good for fine lines and wrinkles. The good thing about retinol is it reduces fine lines and wrinkles, also increases like collagen output. I mean, I don't know too much of the science behind it because I'm no skin expert, but I do know it does help prevent aging. And I think that's what we want, isn't it? At the end of the day, I want to be looking 30 or 40, not the other way around. So it's literally a few pumps and I'll pop that round. And there it is here. I'll be honest, I should have let the toner dry in a bit more. My face still feels a bit damp, but that's okay. But yeah, that one's a really good one. I like it a lot. Definitely worth checking. Uh, and then finally, guys, I use this repair serum, which is to like regenerate and restore, which it says right there, your skin. So I literally apply a couple of drops of that. 
And then last but not least, I have this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I've been using this for a while again. So just basically a moisturizer, just pop that over. That is the last touch. So guys, that is it. It's about five steps. I tell you what, it takes me five to seven minutes every day, every evening, and it's so worth it. A lot of people just jump in the shower, job done. But for me, take the extra five minutes is definitely gonna help your skincare and improve it overall. But it's Friday evening, it's 11 p.m. I've got to finish packing. Well, I'm gonna do like an hour and get to bed by just before midnight because tomorrow I've got the Soho House Festival and that goes on throughout midnight and then I've got to get straight home, straight to bed and I'm up at six the following day because I'm taking you guys along the cruise with me. Now listen, it is a holiday for me, but I've got to create content as well. But at the end of the day, I'll definitely take you guys around one of the days where I'll document a whole day instead of doing it over like the whole week because then it's just a bit too much for me and I do want to relax. One cool day and you guys will definitely get the best experience of it. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you guys on the next